you're my boy Splashy here, <coughs> to lock it down for the last tier list, we will be doing the well-awaited PG tier list. So y'all seen the shooting guard, y'all seen Small Forge, y'all seen Power Forge, y'all seen Center, y'all should know how this works, y'all should know how my tiers work, so y'all see the tiers. We got top three, because I think there is an indefinite three best point guards on the game. Then, after that, I think we obviously, we have our skill gap guards, y'all should know who goes in skill gap. Like, in the right hands, I think they can be top three, but... And then you have interchangeable. Now, my interchangeable tier means, let's say a player like me, a player like whatever other person you want to name, you can play this person at point guard because they fit the meta or fit what you need at the meta. Like, let's say like a Caruso. Caruso is an interchangeable point guard. Even with him, you can put him at point guard now. And what's the difference between him and Gary Payton when you look at it from the bigger picture? They're dang near the same car. You feel me? So, that's that. <coughs> So, let's get straight into it. First, we got Jerry West. Jerry West is going to start off in bad just because pre-Evo, horrible. Post-Evo, it didn't make him much better. His his jump shot is quick or whatever, but his dribble style is Shaq dribbles better than him. Um, His stats aren't the best. He's not the best dunker. Like, he's just not on my list to just, you know, you should use him. There's so many other point guards that you could use that are a lot better than him. Next, we got Sean Livingston. We're going to put Sean Livingston. Honestly, Sean Livingston gonna be the first person to interchange. Well, I think post Evo, you can put Sean Livingston at the one on a comp team right now. Surround him with Dr. J, Tim Thomas, AD, or Giannis, AD, Kareem. And I think Sean Livingston won't make you lose the game. Like, I actually like Sean Livingston. I think he goes into the first point guard. That will be in the interchangeable list. So when y'all see the players that I have an interchangeable, that means, let's say me, let's say I start Penny Hardaway, right? If I was to put anybody from the interchangeable point guard in my in my list, they would still fit the meta of the game. That's what the interchangeable tier will mean. So that's that. Next, we got Caruso. Caruso also goes into interchangeable. Caruso is like a mini GP, mini Lonzo. I like Caruso. I think uh, when he gets another card, he's going to really be a beast. Amazing defense, amazing player build, normal fade. Like, what more can you ask from him? Same thing with Sean Levinson. Michael Jordan dribble style, decent quick jump shot. Like, his three can increase his, like, post evil. Like, he's a good card. Next, you got Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson goes into serviceable. So, I know somebody's going to be like, well, Allen Iverson is way better than Caruso and Sean Livingston. So, how could you even... You know, say this. Allen Iverson is not a bad card, but like I say in past videos, I hold him to a trophy case standard at point guard. So the point guards that I will be comparing him to is like Westbrook. Westbrook. Westbrook is like Westbrook. I almost might I might make my own tier whenever I get to wherever Westbrook is at. If Westbrook is even on this. I don't know if my, oh, there you go, yeah, I might make my own tier for Westbrook because, like, you feel me, I'm comparing him to Westbrook, Allen Iverson, player build is small, he can dunk, he can shoot, his dribbling isn't as good as it should be for him to be Allen Iverson, but he's just a serviceable point guard as a pink diamond, compared to, these two shouldn't give you everything in the book that Allen Iverson don't give you, defensively, normal fade wise, etc., but they do, so, that's why I would have them in that spot. Next, we got Anthony Simmons. <coughs> Anthony Simmons goes to the top of budget service, but Anthony's a dog. I just won't put him in interchangeable because of how small his player build is and the fact that he doesn't excel at everything, but the fact that he could dribble at a high level, his shot just sucks. Other than that, like, this man is a dog. I call him a limited legend because of how good he is. I like uh, him. Baron Davis sucks. That's it. I'm not saying nothing else on it. He sucks. Brandon Jennings, he sucks. 98 has got patched 95 different times. He has the Patrick Mills jump shot. He's just not good. Like, Allen Iverson is 50 times better than Brandon Jennings. Defensively, he's not good. Offensively, he's not good. He just got normal faith. That's really all he got. Especially him coming out of that trophy case conference that he has. Like, horrible, horrible. Next, we got K. K will go into the interchangeable tier as well. Him running the game at point guard for as long as he did, especially being 6'6", he was amazing. He was amazing. You still can put K that starting point guard right now. He'll still be amazing. He's not better than Penny, but he's still amazing. Next, we got Chris Paul. Chris Paul will go in service. So he goes in service buzz well. Especially since I'm holding him to an opal tier, I almost should put him in bad because I'm holding him to an opal tier, but I'll put Chris Paul in serviceable. <laughs> I think on current gen, Chris Paul can be used because of how high his steel is and the fact Hoff Glove runs the game. But besides that, though, I don't really see it. It's not, I'm not going to say it's a skill gap to him. He's just too little. Just a little boy. Defensive stats only matter to a certain extent when you're just a little kid. I think if you don't get a pluck or take the ball out of somebody's hands, I just don't think he does what he's supposed to do. Next, we got CJ McCollum. Serviceable. Not bad. Can play PG. Is he 6'4", 6'3"? Decent. Is he worth locking in, though? No. Wasted lock-in. Just, just regular. 
Next we got Dame. Dame also goes into serviceable. I want to put Dame in bad because of how bad his speed boost is, but he still do got good shooting badges. Can also dunk at a high level. Like he's not horrible. Like his they just messed up his burst. Same thing with like Harden. They just messed up his burst. He's still good. Harden's better than him though, but yeah. Next we got Darius Garland. Darius Garland goes into serviceable. A small PG who, same thing with De'Aaron Fox actually. De'Aaron Fox just dunks better than him. Small PG. If you're looking to have fun on the game, him, a Trey Young, a Darius Garland, De'Aaron Fox, like they're allowed to play, especially offline, triple threat, etc. I love everything they bring to the table. Like, playing limited, especially when you're looking to have fun and not looking to copy the meta. I think Darius Garland, De'Aaron Fox, and Anthony Simmons type point guard are, are really good. I just wouldn't put them in the interchangeable pool of the best point guards on the game. Next, we got DeJounte Murray. Serviceable, but at the end, I don't think he's as good as Darius Garland, De'Aaron Fox, and Anthony Simmons. Simons, but DeJounte is decent. If, his, if they didn't cruise his defensive stats compared to Caruso's, like, I thought DeJounte had D on the Spurs. That's just me, though, but... Interior was like 30, block like 30, but Caruso get gas stats. Like, if he was closer to Caruso, I think he would have been amazing. But yeah, D Smith, D Smith also is serviceable, a good point guard. He's not in the interchangeable uh, level at the PG position, though. Just good, just a decent point guard, especially for budget. I call him a limited legend as well. Um, Derrick Rose also goes in the service ball. I'm holding him to the pink diamond standard. Decent. His burst it got patched. It's not as good as it was in the past. His jump shot isn't as good as it was in the past, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's that's just that's just that ain't much more to say on him. Still a good guard though. Um, D Mitch, D Mitch, really. I want to put D Mitch in skill gap because D Mitch being six one, being able to dunk, having good dribble six, being able to hold every badge, except maybe anchor. I think I don't really remember. But it, being able to hold every badge, shoot from limitless, dunk. D Mitch ran the game for a real long time, and I still think you can put D Mitch at the guard position with that small as he is because his player build allows him to get more stops than he should. I like D Mitch, especially, you know, obviously you'd be like, well, I think Allen Iverson is better than D Mitch. I like D Mitch a lot. Some people still run D Mitch, and I have no problem with him. Like, I really like D Mitch. He's really good. Next, we got D Wade. D Wade goes into the interchangeable. If you can run Sean Livingston and Alex Caruso, you can run D Wade. D Wade got almost max D stats. He can dunk. His only flaw is he don't got no dunk packages. Dunk packages and 98 got patched a few times. And that's it. Like, good. Great card, though. Great card, though. Like, good. This Wade and the Diamond Wade, if anybody wants to ask, because I don't think my uh, editor put the Diamond D Wade on that, but really good card. I think he's an interchangeable guard that can play at the PG position. And like I was saying, if y'all watch my shooting guard till this, if you haven't, make sure you go watch it. There are multiple people at multiple positions that can play on this game because the meta of this game is broken. With people running Tim Thomas, Ricky Davis, Kobe Bryant running the ball with those players, you are able to spot up people like Sean Livingston, D. Wade, K. Caruso, Gary Payton, etc. For them, because of how good those cards are. Jalen Brunson goes into serviceable. Another limited legend. Cute that we got him as a moments tab. Like, he wasn't really not that bad. He nothing to really write home about. He was smooth. It was more annoying trying to do his uh, Evo than anything. Uh, next, we got Gary Payton. Gary Payton goes into the interchangeable list. I call Caruso mini GP, but GP just play a lot of defense. He play it for you, too. Can shoot. He just don't got limitless takeoff and posterizing. His dunk is pretty low. So, that's that. Gilbert also goes into the interchangeable tier. Good point guard. Gets every badge on the game. Comes with half limitless. Comes with normal fade. Can dunk. Somehow gets standing dunks at 6'3". Good. You just got to live with it. Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving goes in bad. They did him bogus. I'm only putting him in bad because of how bogus they do him every single year when he gets a card and he should have one of the best cards in the game. Bad. A bad card. Jose Alvarado also goes in the bad. I don't care how much y'all happy about free, free content. Stop gassing and stop smiling ear to ear. Trust me. No. 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 Shots on slow, 93. Can't dunk. Like, come on, fellas. Let's grow up. Next, we got the Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray goes into serviceable. Not that bad, not that good. Not much to expect from him anyways, though. He's just like a little, like he's a little ammy or whatever. Next, you got James Harden. James Harden goes into skill gap. Now, the reason I have James Harden in skill gap but not Dame is because James Harden has like the best sigs on the game. If you can find a way, shout out to all my boys who be using Harden or still got the Sim Nation play style and y'all be somehow hooping with Harden, step backs, etc. Harden got the best sigs on the game in every way and his shot fast. And he got half limitless before time. Like, Harden was good. Harden just don't get the respect he deserve because, like, he need another car. Next, we got Ja. Listen, it's tears like I should. Ja, at this point, is serviceable, but Ja was one of the best point guards on the game for a whole month and a half. Like, I'm so sad I got to put Ja in serviceable now, but Ja was running the game for a long time. Next, we got Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin, if I'm holding him to the pink diamond standard, isn't serviceable, but I do think Jeremy Lin can be played at the point guard position and spot up for Tim Thomas and Dr. J, Kobe, and Ricky as well. I think Jeremy Lin's better than Gary Payton. If you compare them side by side, say you give them half glove as well, like, I think 
I think I think he's good. Next we got John Wall. John Wall goes into the interchangeable tier as well. Quick shot, can dunk, no limitless. Gets good uh good defensive animations. Gets blocks. Gets this. Gets that. Good good card. Next we got Kimba. Kimba serviceable. Six is really good. Shots nice. Just he's Kimba Walker. You know you don't expect much from his card. Next we got Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson is also a serviceable card. Decent. You know, great slasher, decent jump shot, a regular PG. Nothing to write home about. Next, we got Lonzo. Lonzo will go into the top three tier because what Lonzo brings to the table for some reason, he plays more D than Gary Payton. He can finish in traffic because his dunk is high, like 85. He can get poster and get him his takeoff. He gets contact dunks. Like, Lonzo Ball does it all, especially on current. And I think Lonzo is indefinitely the best PG on current. On next, I think you can um go every which way. But I think Lonzo will be the first person who will be going to the top three tier, especially with how easy it is to shoot his shot and he has. Normal fade. Next, we have LaMelo Ball, his brother. We will be putting him into the skill gap tier. And the reason we put him into the skill gap tier is because people who want to spot up a PG and don't want people to play fake defense. When I say fake defense, that's where everybody's running. Gap off ball pressure, moderate off ball pressure. They're leaving your PGs open or leaving your power forward open or leaving your Kareem open. Like the CPU's just leaving them a bunch of space. You can't do that to LaMelo. LaMelo, for some reason, dribbles like a center though. So you got to deal with that. But how good his catch and shoot shot is, his shots faster than Tim Thomas is. I think he does what he's supposed to, but he's capped out. No agent three, no limitless range, no clamp breaker, no limitless takeoff, no posterizer. Like, I think they did him really bogus. But hey, you know, LaMelo is still really usable. So I'm a fan. Next, we got Kyle Lowry. Big booty goes in the serviceable because he got a big butt. That's it. His his player bill gonna play defense for him. Nah, I'm, I'm joking. But uh, Kyle Lowry, a decent card. Shots comes on quick. Nothing to really write home about. He's just like decent. That's 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 really all I could say about him. Next we got Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson also goes in the skill gap. For him to be six nine, yes, he would. Be, him and Lamelo would be in the interchangeable pool of point guards like that can all play. But he's just good. Like, he's he's nothing really. I think if this game wasn't as broken as it was and Magic Johnson was to drop, he wouldn't play. But I think with the fact that somehow he's standing dunks and rebounds over centers, standing dunks with no limitless takeoff or poster, only a 75 dunk better than most of the cards on the game, he plays. Like So it's up to you whether you want to play Magic Johnson. I think Penny is way better than him, though, but that's also just me. Um, next, we got Penny Hardaway. I think Penny Hardaway is the indefinite across both genes, the best point guard on the game. I think him and Magic aren't comparable to the point that he can put the ball on the ground. He can burst both ways. Magic can't burst either way. You have to turn him into a two-man bot, which would mean, if y'all don't know what two-man is, is when you set the screen with somebody who's not the center or the power forward. His shot is slow, but so is Magic's. He gets boards. He plays defense. He can dunk. He finishes in traffic. He has limitless takeoff. He has poster. Has normal fake. Can get him shot creator badge. Can get him play badge. Can get him lock badge. You can get him whatever you want. I think Penny, especially with his height and how everything goes on the game, I think Penny's the best point guard, but I think Lonzo's the best point guard on current. So next we got Pistol Pete. <coughs> Pistol Pete is bad. I ain't gonna lie. Sorry. I love Pistol Pete too. He should be so good. He sucks on this game. They just did him bogus. One of the few lock-ins that can't get every badge. No defensive stats at all. Can't really dunk. Like just 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 bad. You feel me? Just bad. Um, next we go. Um, I'm gonna add a row above, and this row is gonna be called Training Wheels. So Westbrook is the next card on the game. Now listen, if y'all been in my stream or y'all ever asked me, like, listen. Westbrook is for a casual player. I'm talking a player who isn't that good. Like, y'all don't got a lot of me. Like, blind to me don't get you nowhere. Lie to yourself don't get you nowhere. Westbrook for a casual type of basketball 2K player is the best player on the game. For some reason, he gets to my... I'm talking next-gen, by the way, fellas. Next-gen players. Current-gen, it don't work like this. Next-gen players. Russell Westbrook blows by everybody. He dunks. They change his jump shot. He has the best burst on the game. He, can, he, he, he has one of the only few dunk packages that have half-limitless takeoff dunks. If you pair him with KP, I think that is the most dangerous duo on the game for everybody. Now, these are more comp-based players, but I'm talking more casual plays, man. Whether you high, whether you drunk, whether you you got the vape, you got the bong, and you just trying to play on some casual stuff, put Russell Westbrook in the game, and he will do what he's supposed to do. That's just that. You feel me? That's just that. I don't got to say nothing more on that. For y'all who still got Russell Westbrook in your lineup, I'm sure y'all can, you know, D defend me on that he got it now do i think for comp he's better than penny lonzo and whoever i will be putting next in the top three tier are magic and Lamelo? no but he is still one of the most dangerous guards on the game because of how hard it is to stop him from rim running next we have stephen curry steph curry goes in a budget searchable his pass style is the only thing holding him back he's gonna be getting opal soon his his pass style just sucks same thing with magic johnson i didn't say that about magic johnson magic johnson isn't ranked as high to me anyways and i say it's more of a skill gap because his pass style sucks that's it his pass style sucks 
Um, next we got Stefan Marbury. Stefan Marbury goes into budget serviceable. I actually want to put him into interchangeable because I think you can play Stefan Marbury on this game with how good his player build is and he'll like be def decent, but I'll put him in budget serviceable. He's just a better D Rose, honestly. A bigger D Rose. Next you got Steve Francis. Steve Francis is bad. His jump shot is cruised. I ran him in the beginning of the years because Steve Francis is one of my best, like one of my favorite cards and one of my like players I used to like watching, like high flyer wise, like franchise. He does still have one of the best dribble sigs on the game, but you literally can't get his shot off, and it's not the same as a shooting guard small forward or power forward. Steve Francis don't get the blow by as Russell Westbrook do, so you can't get his shot off. Steve Francis actually got dang near the best stats at the point guard position when you compare him to everybody. Like, I don't know what it is with him. His shot just is horrible. I'm so mad. Nash also goes in the bad. No dunk, no layup. Same thing with Tim Hardaway. All of them go in the bad. Tim Hardaway might be decent on current because of the glove, but when I hold these three to a pink diamond standard, there's no way Stephon Marbury, Jalen Brunson, Kevin Johnson, Darius Garland, Denny Smith Jr., Anthony Simmons should even be in the same talks as them. At least Iverson, like, shot ain't that bad, can play some defense, and has a 90 dunk. Like, nah, these three are horrible. Next, we got Trey Young. The first Trey Young is bad. The second Trey Young, listen, I'm being nice so y'all grind to level 40. No, they not paying me to lie to you. The Trey Young card really sucks, but listen, Trey Fade, the Trey, the, the animation, fellas, the fading animation, the dribble pull up animation. If you are good with the Trey Young fade animation, you can make him usable. I've done it on stream, everything. His main problem is his burst makes you go outward instead of inward. Same thing with Kobe and Penny. Their burst makes you go outward instead of inward, so it's easier for you to get blitzed, bump steal, whatever you want to call it. But if you know how to use Trey Fade, you can at least have fun with him at Triple Threat Online. Like, that's all. But all in all, I would have him in bad if I hold him to a level 40 standard. Next, we got D-Wade. Right by the other D-Wade. No other explanation needed. Luka. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to put Luka in serviceable. I think you can play him. <coughs> no, this is not the Luka from last year. This is not the Power Within car. This is not the Luka with the pink glowing eyes from the superhero set. No, this is a regular Luka Doncic. He got half limitless. He got decent defense. He just not it no more. His shot is really bad. You can't pass out of his shot. You can't stop his shot once it starts. You can't pump fake with him. You just shoot the ball. That's really his main flaw. Other than that, though, his player build should make him play. I want to put him in skill gap, but I tried to use him, and he was just bad. So I'm not a fan. That's just me, though. Rex, I got Rex in the interchangeable tier. Rex, who just came out, that Rex is good. The Hoff Limitless can dunk at a high level. He got the same shot as every other card they give into the game. The little Romeo Langford, the LaShawn Kemp shot, the Thorough shot, etc. Like... Got the same shot. Um, I like Rex, though. I used him. He was decent. Wish his burst was a little bit better. Wish his six was a little bit better. But other than that, I used him. Next, we got SGA. SGA is the last person who I'll be putting into the top three set. For SGA to be 25K, before this stream, he was 25K. I saw them up. I saw four up for 25K on PlayStation. SGA, bring. he's better than LaMelo in every single aspect besides LaMelo having a faster shot than him and maybe being cuter than him. Yo. My bad. My dog took the mic. But SGA, shot is quick dribbles better than lamello finishes better than lamello half clamp breaker half quick first 93 can get play bad she does it all while also being 30k also comes with gold defensive badges to where like lamello comes with bronze badges or like lonzo gets capped out in some areas he's not capped out in most of those areas only thing he's really missing is limitless if, if sga had limitless he'd be the best point guard on the game but i think sga is top three for sure next we got the first we got the john stockton that just came out uh he's just gonna go unserviceable I think he's just the uh, non-trophy case version of Chris Paul. Honestly, his shot is really fast, though. So y'all should try it out, see if you want to have fun, if y'all got a no-money spin team. But he's just the non-trophy case version of Chris Paul. And then I just did Rex, so that's a, a backup Rex. So as y'all can see, that's where I have everybody. We got the training wheels tier, the top three tier, all interchangeable, where I think all of these point guards. So now let me tell y'all this. Like, let me count how many PGs I think you can put at the point guard position and be good at the top level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, well, they the same person. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 PGs that I think, not, not, I didn't even go below the skill gap tier. I think it's 16 point guards on this game right now that you can put at the point guard position and you'll still be fine. But I do think it definitely Penny's the best point guard across both gens for what I explained to you. I think Lonzo's the best point guard on current. And I think SGA, if you filter in his price being 20 to 25K, getting everything he does, I think he's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This will be the last tier list until I do the best players tier list. So if y'all enjoyed the PG one, make sure y'all go check out the shooting guard, small forward, power forward, the center one. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stop by the Twitch, Splashy. I stream almost every day.
come get up with me. Stop by the Twitter, Splash Edition. I'll be having the timeline rocking. DM me with any questions or comment with any questions. Comment under here also if you have any questions. If you got, if I missed the point guard, I might have missed the point guard on this list. Ask or speak of him or if you need a further explanation on why I don't like this point guard or why he was there. And make sure y'all remember, everybody who watched my videos, y'all know, right? My tiers aren't the same as everybody else's tiers. Like, this does not mean Russell Westbrook is the best point guard on the game. This means Russell Westbrook is the easiest point guard to use on the game. This top three can change. Like, I could have explained why Magic could have been in there. Blah, 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 blah. On change, but this does not mean that... Uh, let me take a random person. This does not mean that Deshaun Livingston is better than the Luka, but I think Deshaun Livingston has a better chance of playing in comp than the Luka. Boom. I hope all of y'all have a blessed day. We're getting ready to walk into the new year, so let's go into the new year strong. I love every single one of y'all. I'm out. Peace.